Good. <laughs> Everyone ready to rock and roll? Okay, can I ask for just uh, the most important thing that we want to achieve this morning is to be interactive. So this is not a lecture, this is not a presentation, this is an interactive session. Is that fair enough? Yeah. Yep. I personally was in uh, the emergency ward for most of last night. Uh, my son, unfortunately, a 15 month old, had a seizure. Um, for those of you who are parents uh, and have experienced it, will know what I'm talking about. In hindsight, it's not that serious, but at the time, you think he's going to die. So, uh, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to give it my all my energy, and all I would ask for is the reciprocal on that side. The good news is he's quite fine. He's staying overnight. He's all good. So there's no problem on that side. But all I am saying is that I'm going to come with full energy, so there's no excuses from your side. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. Um, so then just to start off, what are we doing and why are we here? For me, the most important thing of why we've set these breakfasts up, and we've got the privilege of having a lot of people in the room that have been over to America with us. We, we, we see what's happening on the ground there, but we also have a lot of fun together, and, and it's quite nice to get together as a group of people. So for me, the first thing is about networking. It's just about catching up and you know finding out what's happening, what's your experience. Because can we all agree that property realistically goes well, good and bad? Yeah? And it's not all perfect. And if anyone thinks that it's 100% perfect, you're probably in the wrong room. Because you probably haven't bought property before, and I don't think we should be helping you then. Um, so, so for me, the purpose of this type of an event is to also sit down and say, look, you know, I might have this challenge, or this is what, uh, this is, what is, uh, is not working for me. So we've actually got a form, and you'll find it in the pack, called a challenges form. And our idea behind it is that if anyone has a problem, because things are changing dynamically all the time, whether it's the banks or, or, or whether it's rentals or management or communication or anything, we like to know about it. And then our commitment is we'll, we'll get it back. We, we're growing the team and I'll go through that in a little bit more, but then they can get back within 48 hours and, and help you get it sorted. So we can't make all the problems go away, but we do, we do like to. So again, the, the, the forum of this breakfast is to be able to hear what's going on. If there are things that we're not aware of, we can help fix them. The other thing that I think is very important is that the market changes so dynamically and so quickly. For those of you guys that were there in February with us, you know, when I was back in May, you would think we were in a different country again. It is incredible how quickly things are changing in, the, in America. I will give the Americans one thing. They go down hell of a hard, but they come up as quickly, you know, in, in terms of what's happening. So for me, it's a case of staying, you know, Dustin, when you were there in October, and it's another world now. Like really, like what was an opportunity in October to now, it's, it's a different place. Some people, someone said they were here, Clive, you mentioned that uh, it was possibly an opportunity in, a, a year ago. Was anyone at the breakfast that Brendan and I did a year ago in May last year? No. Okay. We've lost all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think, I think the, the important thing is a year ago to now, I mean, things are changing. So the whole purpose here is that Brendan and I go over every three months, as you know. And so whether you bought yourself already, whether you were even there, some of the Tonians was with us uh, you know, four weeks ago, we will constantly keep you updated as to what's happening on the ground in terms of the market, what's happening with the opportunities, which I think is invaluable as an investor in terms of where we're at. The, uh, the other thing is, is in terms of keeping you up to date with the opportunities. So whether you've invested already, like some people that have in this room, or whether you haven't, the most important thing is to actually get set up. Get yourself a, a structure, an LLC, get yourself a bank account, start to build your credit rating. Our objective today would be that if nothing else, everyone has that mindset and starts to get set up. Does that make sense? Whether you buy a property or not, it doesn't matter. You need to get the right structure set up, you need to get your bank account set up, so that that is all in order at a later stage when you, when you want it. I always say to people, what's the worst case? If you've got an American bank account, you can buy stuff on iTunes. <laughs> And then lastly, for us, you know, we, 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 we constantly scouring the market. We've got, you know, we've got great partners on the ground in terms of finding opportunities. So one of the things that we want to do is help people actually build global portfolios. And, and by sitting at these type of events, we can sit with people, we can understand where they're at. If they've already invested, we can understand what's going right, what's going wrong. We can, we can look at the market, what has changed. We can help them adapt and build it. We're not in the game. I personally have no interest in helping people buy one-off properties. Because I don't do that, so it's hard to, I can't advise someone on something that I don't know how to do. For me, it's about building portfolios. And by doing that, we can, but whether you've got one property or whether you've got no properties, 
It doesn't matter because if you've got no properties, we've got to get you started on the process. Does that make sense? So that's that's our whole objective. And one of the things that we're putting together, Brendan is actually building a, 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 a system behind it, is where we're wanting to bring some sort of program. And we've we've toyed with the name, the Peace of Mind program, etc. But the whole idea behind it, and I'm sure um, there's people in this room that would attest to that. That buying a property, you know, John Chen mentioned it at the extravaganza. Can I see a show of hands? Who was at the extravaganza? Just so that I know. Okay. Um, John Chen was out here, and he said, you know, buying a property is one third about buying the property, one third about management and maintenance, and one third about all the other stuff the tax, the structuring, the ongoing tax, the ongoing management, etc. Does that make sense? And unfortunately, there are people in this country running around selling you just a property in America. And, and please, you need to understand that the property is just one third of the whole aspect in terms of what's happening. So the whole purpose behind the, the Peace of Mind program is to provide the longevity in terms of the service, to remind you that you need to have your taxes turned in by the end of April. Because if you don't, it's like $400 a month or something. Yeah, per, per individual. Per month. individual per month or something. Yeah. It's, it's a ridiculous number. Okay, funny guys. How are you doing? So that's the whole idea in terms of you know giving people that peace of mind because I understand you're all busy, I understand you all you're all successful, I understand you've all got a lot on your plate. And so what we want to do is through our experience and through Brendan's ability to build systems, make it easy for you so that it's easy to track in terms of where we're at. So those are our objectives in terms of this breakfast. There is one gentleman to thank, and um, some people in the room will recognize his name, Michael. You guys will, will know Michael. Michael's been on my case quite a lot. He came with us in February on the buyer's trip in, uh, in, when we went out in February. And he personally asked a number of times for us to do these type of breakfasts. He said to me, listen, you know, Scott, it's very important because I like to, uh, he's, he's, he's in Durban, he's networked with a couple of the guys in Durban. He said, listen, I own properties there. I not only want to meet with the other people who are on the buyer's trip, but I want to meet with other investors. And to be honest, it's got nothing to do with whether you invested through IPS or not. It's irrelevant. We are all American investors, and therefore we all got a common goal, common objective, common common uh, basis. Does that make sense? In terms of where we're at, yeah. So that's uh, that's really the basis of, of where we came for. And I think I think the, the slogan behind it is most important. It's power to USA investors by USA investors in terms of what we're looking at. There's two real objectives, and for me, the whole thing behind wealth migrate that Brendan and I and Kenny built was this whole using nature's laws. So a bird, you, a lot of you would have seen this slide before, but a flock of birds, 25 birds can fly 70% further than doing it on your own. So at the end of the day, don't get me wrong, you can jump on an airplane tomorrow morning, you can fly to Atlanta, you can fly to New York, you can fly to London, you can fly to Sydney, you can go buy property. But I can pretty much guarantee you based on nature's laws, you'll be more successful if you work with other people and, and you, you work with people that have been doing it and we work together as a team. And the philosophy of RPS, was um, and the company's been going 10 years in September to it's in September this year, it's September 2003 that we actually started. And the whole principle was Zig Ziglar: you can have anything you want in life if you help enough other people get what they want. So we're investors, we're investing, and other people started asking Brendan and I, "How are you doing? And what are you doing?" And, and we started helping other people invest with us in terms of what we're doing. So 